this edition of the HDTV Morning Announcements. A book return, a return to a yearly swim event, and an event for the musically inclined. The news starts now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back, hot dogs. I'm Liz. And I'm Mel, who is back. I can tell by the feel that uh, Richard kept the seat warm. Very warm. Much like the country fried steak you'll be having in lines one and two, and in line three, chicken strips, line four, spicy chicken and personal pan pizza, and line five, as usual, nothing. It's closed. Happy birthday goes out to Christian Mora, and out of sports with Nick. Thanks, Liz. Yesterday, the varsity hot dog golf team traveled to Rocky Ridge for a match against North Montgomery and Lafayette Central Catholic. The team ended up placing second in the three-way match with a score of 1A3. Leading Frankfurt was Sasha Perch with a 41 followed by Reese Mitchell with the 45, Dacobio with the 47, Ramsey Mitchell with the 50, and Nolan Varner added in a lone birdie, as shown in the video. The golf team will be resuming match play tonight as they prepare to host Delphi at 4.30. Other teams in action tonight include the JV baseball team who will be traveling to McCutcheon for a 5 o'clock start, and the girls varsity tennis team who will also be on the road today, except they will be headed to Lafayette Central Catholic for a 5.30 start. Meanwhile, both the varsity softball and baseball teams will be hosting Western Boone tonight. The first pitch for the softball game will be thrown at 5.30, and the baseball team will kick things off at 6. That wraps up the latest sports news for the day. Back on over to you, Liz. Thanks, Nick. All library books are due tomorrow. Please return books to the library to avoid a fine. Talk to Mrs. Willoughby if you have any questions. The bookstore is currently closed, but will open at lunchtime. AP exams continue today and run through May 16th. All AP exams will take place in rooms 303 and 305. Students taking morning exams should report to their exam room at 7.30 a.m. Afternoon exams should report to test rooms at 11.30. All AP students should have signed up for Remind. Please see your AP teacher, Mrs. Hickson, if you have any questions. Anata Isaac Hunter making his HDTV return for an FFLAC plug. Good morning, Frankfurt. I want to let you all know the applications have opened for the Frankfurt Future Leaders Advisory Council, also known as FFLAC. In this club, you will be able to work directly with the mayor of Frankfurt on service projects and quality of place projects. In FFLAC, you get the chance to show off your creativity and leadership skills alike. Some of the projects we have done are signs on the entrances to the city, as well as a hot dog bench and a large gem sculpture downtown. We are losing many seniors next year, including myself, and are looking for eager and talented members who have a strong desire to improve their community. You can find the application in student services starting tomorrow. Don't delay, the deadline is approaching fast. Be a part of something bigger. Apply for FFLAC today. Thanks, Isaac. Apologies if there's a little sound issue, it's raining. Attention band and choir students, the King's Island trip is this Saturday. If you're going, you'll need to meet at the music doors at 6.30 a.m. so we can leave at seven. Don't be late. Please remember to bring food money for the day and make sure you keep your insides moisturized since we plan to stay for the majority of, if not the whole day. FHS Swimming and Diving presents Swimming Lessons. That's right. Coming up in just a couple weeks, the Swimming and Diving peeps are going to teach some swimming. There will be two sets of four days to choose from, those being May 20th to the 23rd or May 28th to the 31st. Each set of days has two, si two time slots with the 20th to 23rds times being 6 p.m. to 6 to 45 p.m. and 6.45 to 7.30 p.m. and the 28th to 31st times being 6.30 to 7.15 p.m. and 7.15 to 8 p.m. The cost is $20 per child, ages three and up. I'd like to note that there is no upper bound for that range. I know that at least incoming freshmen can go because I'm, you know, my grandma made me come at the end of my eighth grade year. It totally wasn't off-putting because of, you know, being older than everyone else by a solid two years while being taught by people that were as little as one or two or years older than me. Thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on school news and events. And while you guys are off doing whatever, head to YouTube and give the correspondents a listen. They're a British musical duo that I think a lot of you might like. Take that into consideration and have a gooder day.